And we're back, guys and girls, here at the Just Picked Fruit Market, where everything is always fresh, and Rusty's already inside picking out, eating some fruit. Let's go join him. It seems kind of, uh, barren, like there isn't a whole lot going on. Oranges, oranges, those aren't the blackest oranges I've ever seen. Actually, they kind of look like, kind of look like eggplants instead of oranges. I don't know, they've got some weird labeling. Go Eggs? No, those are not eggs. This person is crazy with their fruit. Very, uh, very spacious shop, though, for such a little produce. Rusty clearly wants us to go talk to that guy, but let's investigate. Can we get out these doors? Locked. Okay. Anything else around that's suspicious, like bloody towels, or bloody people, or bloody shirts, or crowbars, or tire irons, or <laughs> anything we've found in past cases to be like, Oh my god, crime! Guess not. Okay, we'll go talk to you, buddy. This guy at the counter, you look like a suspicious man with your forearms sitting there. Hello. Sir, I'm the... Wait. You look familiar. Hey. From the bar, right? What brings you here? LAPD. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney. What can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? Clem Feeney. Call me crazy, but I don't remember him. But I... His name is... His name is memorable. Clem... Clem, 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 Clem. Tell us about the movements of Antonia. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Hmm, he's looking at us straight eyed. I don't really trust Clem with his tie and his vest and his apron and his note and pencil, but his smirk makes me a little nervous, but he's looking at me straight and we don't know any other. We don't know any difference. He could be telling the truth. We don't know. We have nothing to say that he's lying, and he isn't really darting his eyes. He's pretty... That smirk I don't like, but maybe he's just a weirdo. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Hmm, Brown Ford Coupe. Tell us about your contact with her. The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. Um, that's not true, because you just told us that you made a call. And we're gonna drive her. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. Now she seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went ape shit one day when he caught me talking to her. She had me back until last night. Hmm, 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 hmm. Developments develop, I guess, here. <laughs> Tell us about her necklace. She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey. You're getting the wrong idea. Hmm, I don't think we can tell him he's lying. I mean, we know she always wore it, or unless they're gonna say, oh, she always wore it, so that's the, uh, that's the, the lie. Should we use an intuition point here? Let's do it just to be safe. Watch, watch. they'll probably eliminate truth and give us doubt and lie, but hey. We will, uh, we will, uh, you wanna ask the community? Let's see what the, well, that, all that does is tell us what the community picks. The community could be crazy. Remove an answer. Okay, we're definitely downing then. Good good work, good usage of intuition, Cole Phelps. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, look, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after hours crowd. But I don't want any trouble, I'm just trying to make a buck. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. <laughs> and Finbar tells us him off. Let's investigate around a little bit as we Does look. Know how to dance to bebop. Well, I know how to dance to bebop. I can do that for you, ma'am. Let me just investigate this area first. I don't think there's anything here by the eggs. Uh. Anything around here, Clem? I don't like you. You got a weird name. And a weird face and kind of a weird voice, and you seem kind of nervous about the whole thing. And why was Antonia here after midnight? That is very strange. Don't you find that strange? I find it incredibly odd. Boo, we're behind you. All right, nothing here. I'm guessing now they want us to go through the green door. It was locked before because we didn't talk to him, so let's go check it out, the green door. Ah! No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. He's 
got quite the uh, operation going on back here. His after hours business. Let's see what's up. Didn't we find some beer at at uh, Angel's house as well as his apartment? I thought we thought there was some there as well. A little strange. It looked just like that. Same stuff. Hmm, so he was here apparently as well, Mr. Angel. Uh-oh. Why cut someone who's already dead? It's Why? It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. Must have seen it during the war. Why isn't this guy smart enough to hide his bloody scalpel? Clem, your intelligence betrays you. Can't investigate this? Okay. Kind of weird that it's just sitting out on his desk, but alright. Hmm. Anything else strange? Hmm, a so box. what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. Okay, um what about that dot matrix from earlier? Wasn't that something like this? Two, five, three. Okay, so now we gotta really step back and be like there's no reason if the fruit market guy was the killer that he would want us to open up his box. So that leads me to believe that the real killer like knows all about these people, has, has broken into their places, knows everything, and is trying to tie it back to them very intelligently with subtle clues. But at the same time, if Cole's smart, he would know that if that guy's trying to give clues to these people, then it's not really the fruit guy, it's really the Black Dahlia killer. So, kind of complicated. What was it again? My bad. Two, five, two, I believe. Just double check and make sure we don't want to like break the lock. Two, five, three. Okay, good. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Two, five, or three. Oh my gosh. Wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body of which he is the Savior. Whoever owns this box is a crazy person. Believes that their wives should submit to the husbands. Hmm. It's a picture of Mary. It looks very similar to the one from Barbara's house. A picture of hands. These are necklace p bits. Could this be her necklace? It makes me wonder if the dude, the killer, is just like, he kills all women who have any any issues with their husbands because he's, like, upset about it or something. Or, because if it was the fruit market, if the fruit market guy did it, why would he possibly leave this combination as a clue? Like, that absolutely makes no sense, okay? I'm guessing that's everything. This fruit stall punk gets about ten seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clem! But, but, but there was another clue in there. Hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. God it, damn it, get after him. Ah, I want to go back because there was a clue. There was a, there was something bloody in that drawer. I don't know if you saw that, but... I'm trying to shoot out his tire. Wish me luck. We gotta, we gotta... Oh, Jesus. People, watch out. We gotta go back because there's... Crap, the there's... Guy's getting away, there was Phelps. something bloody in his drawer. We I don't want to see what that is. We had the chance, Phelps. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. I still understand if it, if it is him, why he would possibly leave... Why you possibly leave? It's his, strange his, that he keep a trail of blood right back yeah, to his own exactly. apartment. Yeah, exactly. That's not me. He wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. Why would he leave us his dot matrix? No, oh. he's about to get bit. Ah. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. Wow. Massive stunt. Phelps, you gotta get me closer. Try and. Rack up quite the bill, but hey, we gotta catch Clem. Coral King, give us your blessing. Keep it steady, and I'll try to bust his tires. There we go. You're done for, buddy. Yeah, that's it. Boom. He's upside down, man, now. Clem, you're in trouble, dude.
You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind them the crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. Well, I guess that's the end of the case there. Hmm. That's some city damage, I guess. Quite a bit of city damage. But we still got five stars. The body in his doors of the DA may look to send Clem Feeney to the gas chamber. I don't know. I still... Maybe I'm maybe I'm being a little paranoid here, but I still don't understand why Clem would want us to find him and lay out all those clues if it really was him. Why would he lay out a clue to his magic box there? Makes no sense to me, but maybe, maybe that's what killers do. I wouldn't know. I'm not a killer. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode closing out the Silk Stocking Murder. I thought we could go investigate Angel or do something or even see that bloody thing because he had some blood on his clothes there in the drawer, but apparently we found all the clues, so apparently it wasn't even a main clue. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Do something nice for yourself. Have some hot chocolate. Enjoy yourself. Cola King demands it. And until next time, guys, when we start case number 11, we will see you later.